All right, are we live? We're live. I'm just kidding. What's going on, everybody? It is Frank here for the Bigfoot Gentleman. We are here at Cigars and More, and it is election day, you guys. So uh, we're going to talk about who we got voted for, why he was wrong, and uh, more stuff like that. So uh, let's get the show started, Mike. Take so long. It just looks like it takes. Anyways, what's going on, guys? Thank I you guys put it there for intentionally. Us. For that's all uh, I want. Moonshine, Doug, Duty, uh, Matt, watching. I know uh, a few other people over there that I can't really say the name for right now, guys. I apologize. The uh, more you guys comment, the more the names will scroll. So well, comment more. We'll see all you. I think Cam's in there as well. Hey, Cam. Uh, happy election day, you guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys have already done your part. Yeah. Voted today. I did see. I got my little sticker right there. There we go. Michael, what's your sticker? I don't wear it. I'm not, I'm not a child. I didn't go to the dentist today. Wow. <laughs> what do you call it? You if think you, more people would go yeah. if there's like a little prize chest? A if, little hole yeah. in the ball game? Don't don't joke about it. Is there a hole in the ball game to win if I vote for the right person? Is that what's going on here? Could be. Like if I guess the right person, I win a toy? Because then I'm voting every time. What was that? What was that um, That scene from 30 Rock? It's like, if you, if, you, if you say you like this, you get pizza. pizza. Oh, they did a... Uh, one of those uh, focus groups. Yeah, focus, focus group. That's yeah. what it was, a focus group. You, you, you can't like focus. What good would you do? Oh, no, I just want pizza. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways, again, thank you guys so much for joining us. Yes, today we're smoking with Cal Cigars. Uh, that is the brand of the week for this week. Um, of course, you guys will get 15% off any individual sticks you guys get. Um, and you guys will also get um, some good deals on some five packs and three packs. And every time you guys buy a five pack or three pack, uh, you guys will get entered to win. Uh, a raffle, which we will do on Sunday, uh, and of course we'll announce the next cigar brand of the week. Uh, our winner from last week was Mike McCormick. Congratulations to him. Uh, he won the Gurkha travel case. And Mike, you want to get next week's prize so we can wait? Never mind. What's up? That's not the prize for that. That's that not is the prize for Tuesday's that. prize. Yeah, that's the Tuesday. Thing. Uh, so Tuesdays, something. Tuesday, you guys, we're doing a special where any five cigars you buy on Tuesday. Where's the video? Uh, so we're lagging. Oh, is it the audio that's lagging, guys? Let me know what's going on. Oh, no, we're choppy. Uh, and, of course, we're choppy already. Uh, let's see what I can do so about that. Let's see if that'll help out at all. Hopefully that will Thank help Thank you, out Mitch. Out terrible. Yes, terrible is a good word to use uh, when describing things. When we're live, brother. I'm yeah, just kidding, man. Um, let's see. Speaking of focus groups, do you guys have one to help me focus uh, and the lag? Oh, my goodness. Let's see. I'm hoping that'll fix it, guys. Uh, it's the best I can do uh, for right this second. Picking a cigar uh, with a blue or red band today. My goodness. Actually, technically, I picked one with a blue and red band. If you can see that real quick, let me get oh, a little yeah, closer. Yeah, you got to swing both ways. I don't have to. I don't have to pick any sides. I could just smoke my cigar you that? and You're relax. <laughs> it's, also, it's also got a little bit of gold in there. Probably takes for third party. Be a swing boat too. That, that was a movie, wasn't it? <laughs> that was a terrible movie, too. Stop me. <laughs> uh, of course, uh, like I said, you guys, every Tuesday we're going to do another raffle. You guys buy any five cigars on Tuesday. You guys are going to put into that special raffle. Uh, last week, this week's prize uh, is this right here. The Liga 9 Survival Kit. It comes with the backpack, the flashlight, and the uh, holding pocket knife as well. 
Uh, so it's a pretty cool little uh, yeah, little, little tree right there. <laughs> Looks like it's fixed up. Mine's, mine's clear now. Oh, cool. um, so next week's, you guys, will be a, a little J.C. Newman pack. That's, It'll that's be a cool. uh, J.C. Newman ashtray and cutter. Mike, you want to get those real quick? Shoot, sorry. One second. I already started lighting, guys. I couldn't stop. I apologize. But, yes, Frankie's absolutely right. This is a nice quality cutter along with a really nice ashtray. You want to show it off? Yep. There you go. Thank you. So there's a J.C. Newman cutter right there. It's that teardrop shaped cutter. Oh, good ass for new hay. Thank you. It's bigger than yours. Thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate it. It's actually really nice, too. It's the black and gold. That J.C. Newman tower right there. So that's pretty cool. It's, it's really nice. I like the accents to it, that uh, copper um, that copper coloring to it. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, very nice. And like I said, you guys, any five-pack you buy today will get you entered the Tuesday drawing. And you can come in and get the five-pack of Metallus, which we have here. There's a five-pack of their Metallic Bowls. You get one of each. You get the Sumatra, the Lajero, the Nicaragua, the Maduro, and the Matafina. Boom, got them all. Nice. Uh, nice. You get one of each of the bowl. And when you do that, not only do you get into Tuesday's drawing, but then you get into the Sunday drawing for Macau as well. So if you buy a five-pack on Tuesday of the cigar brand of the week, you get into both drawings. So that's a pretty good way to do it. If you don't want to deal with the five-pack of Macau, you always do the three-pack. That will also get you a raffle ticket for the Sunday drawing. So um, this this will be a mix of different Macau cigars that we have. Um, the bold will only be in the five-packs as of now. Um, but uh, we do have a mix of other Macau cigars that you guys can get in the three-pack. If you want to do that. Honestly, yeah. If you don't really care about winning stuff, but if you want to try a new cigar, try out any of the individuals for 15% discount on those all week long for all of them, the Calif line. And they do have quite a few in the variety to choose from. So Yeah, I did not realize how many of the line we had. So we only had four of the line for the Crux. Uh, we were missing the limited edition, the black label. Uh, and so when we put those back on the shelf uh, right behind us over here, uh, then we brought out all the Macalves, so we had problems fitting them on the counter. Like, okay, so we have a lot more than four Macalves. Um, but we put them up there, they look really nice. So you guys can get those, they're right up there, uh, with the uh, right by the counter, so you guys see them right by the, the five and the three packs, uh, when you come in the shop. Matt drinking some of that basic batch pumpkin flavored coffee from Black Rifle Coffee Company. Is that the, I'm guessing that's the real name they chose. That's hilarious. Uh, Hack, how you doing, brother? Glad to see you. Uh, my only one smoking Bill Clinton original, only used once. Yeah, I heard it's over humidified. Uh, anyway, it's gonna skip over that real fast. <laughs> um, uh, I am trying, like I said before, guys, I'm trying the A, which is the A for Ambassadors, which is their I wouldn't, it's not their newest, but it's newer in the lineup. I, I believe, believe there's the a, newest one in the lineup. Well, you know what, newest blend, but they oh. came out with the Medallia and the new size, right. along with the Riata. So, right. the newest blend. Newer sizes available on different cigars. We do have the original Medallia size right there. And I'm smoking the Riata, now that you mentioned it. And they do have a different size for the Riata. I think two different sizes. But in all honesty, I like I like the Medallia a lot. And I like the size they chose to go first of all. It's um, a little bit smaller, I'm not going to lie. Um, so if you're looking for that long smoke time, it's not really going to be that. It's going to be that 45 minutes. No, maybe but it, an hour. it's blended really well. So you get some really good flavors out of that small size. So uh, they did a good job with it. We're looking... Oh, yeah. yeah, that's that's exactly what I was thinking too. Yeah, if uh, if you're looking for something very high quality, and that's not gonna take uh, a lot of your time up, that's the one to go for. Mm -hmm. And Doug, yeah, wants a, a five pack of that. We'll, we'll have to get a hold of you after the the show. Uh, and the number, if you want to call Trina and Bug her, is six six one eight six one 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 six. Yes. And you want to put that in the comments for me? That's the, that's the promotion. The Boom! Promotion is keep Trina busy. I think new deal, guys. If Trina doesn't get off the phone for the next four hours of you guys calling, doesn't have to be ordering anything. Just keep her on the phone. I'll give away a five pack. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> she. Uh, uh, I gotta go. But, <laughs> but with that being said, should we uh, should we get into the winner for this week, or should we wait till halfway through the show? Uh, we got so a little bit of time. Do it now so I can take my cigars with me. Ah, you think you're going to win already. Uh, what do you call it? Um, you guys let us know. What do you guys think we should do? Should I shake this up some more? See yeah. who won? Or uh, should we keep going for a minute? It looks like Hack is smoking his first rush uh, from Pariah, which is, which is these guys right here. So I heard they're fantastic cigars. Uh, if you guys have not yet ordered your rush cigars, get a hold of us. Um, and we'll send you some out. Absolutely. They're fantastic. Absolutely. I like them. 
I like a, I'm a little biased. I know that, but I think they're phenomenal. And uh, yeah, I don't mind saying that one bit. Mm-hmm. That is the number, guys. If you guys are not in the area and you want to get a hold of uh, some of these deals or there's certain cigar you can't find in your area, chances are we have quite a few here uh, that you might not be able to get a hold of. So right. Give us a call. We'll look through the humidor. Uh, we do ship out. So it's it's a big help to those out there who may not have a, a certain lounge close to them. I might just be looking for something in particular that you've seen that we've had here. Um, and if you have any questions on any of the inventory, you can always give us a call at that number. Uh, and as long as we're here, if you just here, we'll help you guys out and tracking down what we have available. Um, we do have Andalusian Bull, which is hard to get. We have the new uh, foundation uh, tabernacles uh, in the David and Goliath size. Um, I'm trying to think what else new came in. Uh, I'd like to say we have Carlos, but those are been gone for like two weeks now. Yeah, that's how we get to use this box because they came, they went. Everyone loved them. Robert, how many boxes did you get of the Carlisle? Three. Three? That's what they all like. Nice. Hey, got to be quicker then, guys. Got to be quick. If you want to get, get good cigars, you got to be quick sometimes. That's why we, we post it online as quick as we can. So, so we know we're going to get them for a good markup. So that'll, 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 be, uh, <laughs> that'll be the next tagline. If you want the new cigars, you got to be quicker than Robert. Because if you're not, he's going to snatch them up. Boom. Uh, I like it. It's a good but question. yeah, that, that, that's one of the cigars that shop only get you know certain numbers of. Uh, because they don't make that many, so uh, they were a great cigar. If you guys got to try them, yeah, especially the talks why I mean, it's a limited time a year, once a year, really. It's for Halloween, mm-hmm. and it was really nice. Yeah, really, really good smoke. I only had two of them, and I thought, man, I'll come back later. There'll be more. Somebody bought up all the three boxes that were left. Then gone out of nowhere. <laughs> I don't blame you one bit. I don't blame you at all. Hopefully, we'll get some more, and we'll have to wait and see what Tatuaje has available left. Um, but if you guys are in the mood for any Oliva, Alec Bradley, uh, Eltidis, which is Roman Julieta, Monte Cristo, H. Upman, Brickhouse, uh, Brickhouse um, Rocky Patel, Gurkha, Gurkha I'm missing. Drew Estate, or Prior Cigars, you guys are more than welcome to join us on November 20th uh, for Stogie Fest. That's going to take place basically on the other side of this wall right here at the bar. Uh, Casa Tequila is going to be hosting that in their back patio. Uh, it's a nice area if you guys haven't seen it yet. I know they do some stuff on Instagram. Where you can see how their bar looks it's really oh, nice. Man. They did a really good job setting that place up. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Again, you guys, uh, tickets are limited, so you guys have to get them um, before they run out. You're uh, a home mind trainer, right? Because of all the social distancing stuff, I'll be here. Sell a certain number. It is, yeah. It's capped this time, and I believe we're like three fourths gone on that. Yeah, Something make like sure that. you get in the burner band yeah. contest because uh, I'll have a good prize ready. I don't know what it's going to be. Yes, yeah, yeah. so we're going to have the quickest uh, to the band contest. So uh, first person to uh, to burn, you know what cigar you're gonna use? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, quickest person to burn the band on their cigar will win. You, obviously, you can't move it because uh, that's cheating. Uh, <laughs> no, that's and we'll, we'll also be doing the the longest ash contest, uh, which will be a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, Paul, real quick, uh, what's up with the empty shelves behind you? It's from the gift packs you are sending me. Okay. All of them. Send you all the cigars. Yeah, Actually, really I'm gonna move my head right there. Yeah, we just call that. You see how many shelves? <laughs> even where the cruxes are right there, that was all full. Um, <laughs> so you have three shelves worth of cigars to choose from, mm-hmm. um, different sizes, different blends, so, man, the taste of this cigar two different types of uh, yeah, we, uh, packs to choose from uh, at a good, good discount right now. And uh, yeah, there was a lot more here than I realized. I cannot wait for you to let us know which ones you guys are liking. Uh, oh, you have my ticket. And again, you guys, that is November 20th for Stokie Fest. It's going to start at 5. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I like I said, we have all those companies yet. coming. Oh, we'll have a booth for Cigars for Warriors. We'll have a booth for Lebras. Um, you know, lots of great deals for you guys on the cigars for those companies. So make sure you guys come if you're able to come. It's going to be a good time. The ticket price includes uh, a five pack of cigars and dinner, uh, which is always nice. Yeah, it's a it's a good thing to have. You know, you smoke five cigars. Yeah, um, especially if you're you're going to enter that long ash contest. Make sure you get some food in you. Uh, you do not want to be on empty stomach. And I think it was melanin. That showed off that Rocky Patel leather cigar slash alcohol case. I think it was Melanie. If you guys saw her show a while back, uh, she has this nice leather briefcase with the Rocky Patel logo at the bottom. And when you open it up, it holds cigars in the middle with the quick place for cutter lighter. And then on the other side, it holds a bottle of liquor and two glasses. And uh, we, we may have one of those to give away as well. Why don't we show it up? What happens, please? But we can wait. We can wait. You guys, uh, you guys got to come to the event to see all this cool stuff because there's a lot of very nice prizes to win that night. It's going to be a lot of fun. Smoking a 20th Perdomo Maduro in Norway. 
Oh, that's nice. that new blue label one. That one's really good. We smoked that on the show a few weeks ago. Uh, you had the Sun Gun, which is the red label. I did the Maduro, which is the blue. I thought that was a fantastic cigar. Again, I'm not the biggest uh, Perdomo fan in the world, but recently with a lot of weddings starting to go on, we've been uh, moving a lot of the champagne because people want a celebration cigar that's good, but not going to break your your, your bank, you know? They don't want to spend out of bay or opus money for, you know, 10, 12 groomsmen. So they're buying up the, the uh, champagne, and it is fantastic. And then, of course, the new... Um, Sun Grown and Maduro anniversaries are fantastic. Yeah, hundred percent. And you know, it's just a, it's an easy smoke to recommend as well mm-hmm. for quality, consistency, uh, not too heavy. So if some of your groomsmen they may not be cigar smokers, but want to enjoy one with you for that That's particular right. moment, you know, it's a celebration. But then you don't want to you don't want to turn them green. So something a little bit lighter and smooth will help out in that situation. And uh, that's yeah, that's a good pick. The champagne is always uh, a decent choice in that case. The the sun grown the twentieth, not so sure about that. One. That one's a little heavier. Might be a little heavier for some yes. novices or you know, unexperienced smokers, but still, as far as the cigars go, I thought I thought those new ones were a fantastic addition to their line. Uh, that Prodomo firecracker that they did uh, with the two guys smoke shop uh, was amazing. That one was great. Oh, I loved it. Oh, uh, this is the thing about those. It's it might be that novelty size because it's kind of small. You know. It's, Firecracker, it's a little guy with a long pigtail, um, but it had a lot of flavor packed in it's the fuse. It's you know what it is. It's a pigtail on a cigar, okay? Just because it's on a quote unquote firecracker, don't, don't correct me. God, I deal with this guy all the time. Anyway, um, a lot of flavor packed into a little package. It's very nice. Uh, hard to get hold of though. That's yes. the thing. As soon as they yeah. sell out, they are. Good. I think those sold out within half an hour of them going on sale. It was one of the quickest um, seller releases for the two guys smoke shop firecracker. Not bad. Not yeah, bad at all. They went really fast. Uh, I think only a few people that I know were able to get a whole box. Uh, and Doug says, how many people show up for Stogie Fest? Yeah. It's usually a good a good hundred people. Yeah. You know, a little bit more, depending. When you um, add in, you know, the, the staff, plus the bartenders, plus uh, the girls, plus uh, the reps and all that. Yeah. This is the price for the for the band. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, let's show this up. So, first contest, Burn the Band on Stogie Fest on the 20th. First prize is coming up. It's a very nice desktop American flag humidor. That is nice. And it's a good thing to show off today. Of all days, proceeds, get a vote. Proceeds go to the Cigars for Warriors. Yes. Oh, yeah. Always remember that, guys. There is a, a little donation fee to enter. And then all that goes together to Cigars for Warriors. Uh, and Mitch, uh, which I don't know if he's still in the comments or not, but he is the one who is our event coordinator. He runs the booth uh, for Cigars for Warriors here. Uh, yeah. Every Stokey Fest and pretty much every event we do and does a great job of that. I know he does a lot of cool stuff as well. And I'm looking forward uh, to whatever he has planned for this year. Yeah, absolutely. He does a great job uh, with Cigars for Warriors. And I'm, I was happy he stepped up because uh, up until he did that, we didn't have a donation center or a local event coordinator for Cigars for Warriors. No, no. You know, he went uh, over and beyond and, you know, found out what information he needed to set one up. Uh, and he partnered here with Cigars and more, uh, and just became our, our local donation set. The closest one to us was somewhere down in LA uh, before he, he did uh, what he did. So, uh, you know, as our event coordinator, you know, he organizes um, any information that we need from him, um, any, you know, pamphlets, buttons, stickers for Cigars for Warriors. You know, he's the one that supplies all that stuff. Uh, he's the one that communicates with the, uh, uh, with Florida for us. Uh, you know, gets all the latest information on how Cigar Sport is doing. You know what they need, uh, stuff like that. So, uh, a big thanks to Mitch for that. Yeah, absolutely. It's a it's a phenomenal organization. I love that. Um, even through all these difficult times that's been this year, I mean, events pretty much dried up, and that was their biggest source of of donations. Whether it was cigars or it was cash out, ship out. Right. That they didn't have that, and they really stepped up the game to keep it going right. and to keep cigars uh, going over uh, to hey, how's it going? To uh, our troops in active military zones and in third world countries for over a year and more. That's right. our first uh, first stop for cigars for them. Right. And now they're also introducing coffee to that list. That's right. Yeah. Get, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's it's a really nice package that's getting sent out, and it's great to see. Yeah, that that's really cool that they're adding that coffee stuff. You know, they do um, you know cutters, lighters, humidification packs, travel cases. Magazines, gift cards. Um, Try to think anything else. Um, but yeah, all that kind of stuff they do. So um, it's it's a great organization, really. Just check them out on Instagram. You guys see what we're talking about. Doug, that'd be incredible if you can make it, man. It is on November twentieth. 
Um, so what, about three weeks, a little less than three weeks now? 17 days. 17 days. So looking forward to that. If you can make it, brother, that'd be awesome. Love to see you here. It is. It's a great time every time. Uh, regardless of what's going on, it's a good group of people. Always fun. And, uh, it's, and the reps that we get, you know, the companies that we choose is for the reps that we have. You know, us being on the West Coast, it's a lot harder for us to get some of the, you know, company owners that live, you know, on the East Coast or in that area. You know, sure, they can go to Florida, they can go to, you know, um, um, the Midwest and all that stuff. Because it's a lot closer to where they're at. You know, usually the one time a year they come this way, or two times it's actually for TP or uh, for uh, PCA. You know, on the West Coast, it's a little bit harder, especially with the taxes that we deal with. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of a... a it's kind of difficult to get them to come out here. Uh, I'm not saying that they don't. They do every once in a while, but it's a little harder for us to get them out here. So the people that we work with, you know, the companies that we choose are because of the reps. The reps are fantastic. Um, you know, for the longest time, you know, me and Manny have gotten along so well. And he's our rep for Oliva. And, you know, he just does a fantastic job. And I'm happy to support him uh, and Oliva Cigars because, you know, how well he takes care of our shop. You know, same with Karen for Jewel State. Just fantastic. Uh, John over at Alec Bradley, Ron with uh, Rock Patel, and uh, Cindy uh, with Altidus, again, who does Roman Julieta, Monte Cristo, Ike Upman, Brickhouse, and then Sherman with uh, with Gerker. They're all fantastic people. Uh, and I think no matter what company they would be with, you know, I would have no problem supporting them. Truly, truly. All, all phenomenal workers, hard workers. Yeah. Be sure to talk to your local reps because if you want more information on certain cigars, what's new, what's coming out, you want to get a hold of certain. Uh, a certain swag that uh, otherwise would be hard to get talk to your reps yeah it's 100 percent helpful yeah and uh they will they'll let you know what's going on what's moving what's smoking good if uh you already make that connection with them they can let you know hey some news coming out that we think you'd like be sure to try this one out it's just, it's a good source of information yeah absolutely agree with you. Uh, anytime you guys get a chance you know to talk to a rep for a company even if it's a company that maybe you don't smoke uh, picking their brain is is really good yeah, 100%. Uh, Bill Dean is our cigar for coordinator. We are a donation center as well. Excellent. That is excellent. Hack. I uh, I actually didn't know that. Um, I'm, glad, yeah, I'm glad Bill signed up. He's a good guy. And uh, I know he'll do a great job as well. We'll see ya. Uh, we don't have a website for it, but if you go to the Bakersfield Gentleman page or the Cigars, uh, and more Bakersfield page. Uh, it is pinned to the top, all the information you need. You can just give the shop a call, talk to trainer, and get your ticket over the phone. We'll have it for you, so when you show up, we can give it to you. Um, as far as hotels go, there's yeah, here, a few yeah. uh, hotels yeah, do that still. just around the corner from where we are. I think. Yeah. Uh, right, very guys. easy, so. Uh, oh, wait, that's a bit more than I thought. <laughs> I looked up and I was like, wait, that's not. Right, you're the there we go. Moonshine out. We'll see you My moonshine. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few hotels in this area, so that should not be an issue. Yeah, yeah, no, there's some good ones around here. It's uh, it's not exactly a tourist destination, but it's a good place nonetheless. And uh, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, what like to go? People in California, they think you know, Disneyland, Sea World, obviously the border. You know, if they want to go to TJ for a day, um, you know, they think San Francisco, uh, you know, the beaches. Oil Dale. I mean, these are all just <laughs> top destinations for people traveling. Oil Dale, huh? I mean, that's yeah, born and raised in Oil Dale. So <laughs> that's the first place I lived when I moved. Oh, the old Oil Dale <laughs> So, quick story. When we, well, when I first moved to Bakersfield, we got already been living here four or five years, and uh, the lady that sold my parents their house, uh, she knew me. You know, she likes my family, she likes working with them. So she says, hey, when you get ready to move up, I've got an apartment for you. Don't worry about anything. You can move in the day you come up. I said, okay, great. Where's it at? She's like, oh, it's in Oildale. I don't know, baby. So I never heard of Oildale. Uh, she's, on, she's on a great street. It's called Beardsley. And I was like, okay. At least once every couple months, we had to make an unexpected Denny's run and stay at Denny's for a couple of hours because the cops had the street blocked off whether it was shooting or something going on. So it was a very lively area. Uh, needless to say, once our, our, our uh, lease ran out, uh, we moved out. And uh, yeah, but it was a very interesting time. Very interesting year. I will say this, though. The neighbors were nice. Yeah, they we were. had good neighbors in our, in our nice. little apartment complex. Good people. And, uh, 
um, yeah, what do you call it? It used to be a good place to grow up. It's yeah. not the shit. That will, yeah, that will happen, you know. But nonetheless, yes, I remember that first apartment very well. And uh, another good thing that I think uh, I, I miss about it is right across the bridge, because we were right, barely getting in there, right is across is uh, Sam Samlin Ballpark, right? Samlin Ballpark. And all summer long, they had fireworks going on. Yep. Um, so that was cool to watch. Um, the family never really they came to hang out. They down once in a while. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they also do that. It's already burned the river, but they figured it out. Figured out real well. Never been on events like that. We don't have. You know, if you had the ability to talk to your local shop, uh, or even get a few people together that like cigars, you could always have your own small event. Um, the club we have here, Calebras, you know, we, we, excuse me, we don't sell cigars there, but we throw events once a month. You know, a couple of, uh, of club members will get together to decide on some cigars to hand out, go purchase food, some drinks, and, you know, we just all get together, and we smoke, and we drink, and we talk, and we actually did that this past Saturday for Halloween, uh, and it was really nice. We got the fire pit out, did all that, so... You know, even if it's not a full-on cigar selling event, you can always get some people together and throw a nice party. Just have a good time, yeah. yeah. And so it's showing the ninth. I, I will have to check on that. That should not be. Should be on. It is for sure November twentieth. I know that. Yes. Um, the other day we were thinking it was the thirteenth, uh, but that got moved to the twentieth. Um, those are the only re ones I realized that it would be on. I'll have to. I'll have to fix that. I'm not sure why that's showing up, but thank you for letting me know because yeah, definitely got to fix that. Good dirt track, uh, racing and oil. How far is the Padre from here? Well, the Padre is downtown. It's not that far. Like, no, it's not too far. What? Ten minutes at the worst. Yeah. yeah. Ten, fifteen minutes depending on traffic. Yeah. It's not very far. Not at all, yeah. So that's actually a really great spot, too. Yeah, it's a lot um, of fun, that hotel. Especially if you photo shoot and stuff, you're in a nice room. It's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Good. Good. Well, half naked girls help. I was gonna bring up the food. Uh, it was a good restaurant. Well, I don't think we spent much time there. We have to be. I, the, they I have a great food. fitness center as well. Uh, yeah, you went walking by that, didn't you? Well, it wasn't open. There was a pandemic going on. Not my fault. <laughs> what do you call it? I use. Does it look like I use treadmills? Come on, let's be honest. Here. Let's, let's let's be realistic. I uh, know. If you've seen the um, the Facebook group we made when we did the weight loss challenge, guys, uh, people are still posting in there from time to time. So I was like, I'm going to post in there too. And uh, the family, uh, my parents and the little ones got a treadmill from one of their friends who's getting rid of theirs. And the kids have been stuck at home for a while. The little sister and little brother love to, to run. So they had this treadmill they can do it whenever they want in the backyard. So I'm over at their house with a cigar. I'm like, I'm about to make some history right now. I get on it, I turn on really low, and I smoke my cigar while I lightly walk two miles. Um, yeah, I might have just fixed working out forever. So if you can have a cigar and, and be active, boom. Maybe you should bring that into Planet Fitness to be perfect. I don't think they're going to let me smoke in Planet Fitness. We're hanging laundry on, you know, when you're getting ready to stuff. Yeah, it's a, good, it's a good storage spot, you know. It's good for when you don't want to walk the dog, but let them just kind of let them run on there a little bit. Boom, perfect. So how is that uh, that A smoke, Mike? I had to tap the ash. I felt it a little loose, and it's got a little tight of a draw, but the flavors are nice. I'm just gonna give it a little rotation here. I don't think it's enough where I'm gonna need a uh, cigar poker or anything. Mm -hmm. This was a little tight right here, but as as I smoke, as the tobacco heats up, that's getting a lot easier. Smoke output's increasing quite a bit, and I am I'm digging it so far. Not as heavy as I thought it was gonna be. Um, it's about a mild getting up to medium. It was a little darker than I was, I was expecting for that. Mm -hmm. But all around, uh, nice performance, um, some good flavor, some nice dark oakiness, and um, how do how do I describe this? I was just saying tobacco flavor. I hate having to do that, but it's a very deep earth tobacco note that sometimes you don't you don't really get when there's not a lot of smoke out. But okay, so I'm enjoying that a lot right now. Uh, as far as the biota goes, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, it's light, it's um, a little creamy, it's uh, not not a lot of spice to it at all, like no spice at all. Hmm, okay. But still a little nutty. It is enjoyable. You know, it's really good. First thing in the morning with some coffee. Uh, I think it's fantastic. I would actually do espresso with it because this is so light and espresso will be so dark. I think it will complement each other. I like where you're headed at with that. And uh, full disclosure, I had no idea what Americana was until the other day. Makes me feel like a bad American. 
I didn't realize, like you told me what, an espresso with that water added? Yeah. So it's just a not as bitter espresso. I was expecting more for some reason. I don't know, like, I can't even tell you. I had no idea it was that simple. But I like them, so I get them anyway. Don't care. Uh, how far, no, I read that one, fitness center. Uh, I work out and smoke, still holding my feet. <laughs> Very nice, Matt. I yeah, Matt. That. Yeah, Mitch had the uh, the war bear last night from, Postania. I always forget how to say this. Postania. Postania. Yeah. yeah. I always say Powstain, yeah. but I know that's wrong. So if it is right, don't correct me, because I like saying that way anyway. It's going to happen. Powstain? Uh, Powstain. But it says Postania. I'm, I'm 99% sure it's Postania. But uh, if you guys check it out, it's got the uh, the red label with the very large P on it. Uh, and a, a little bear on there for the war bear. It's a great cigar. I like that one as well. Uh, what whiskey are you having, though, Mitch? Let us know. But it also is halfway through the show right now. We're it 30 is. Minutes. 30 minutes. Okay, so let's do this. All right, guys. So, like I said, every Tuesday when you buy a five-pack, you guys are going to enter to win the Tuesday prize. This is our first one. It is a League of Nine Drew Estates survival kit. It has the backpack and the flashlight and the folding pocket knife in here uh, and it comes in this really nice uh, metal tin which of all the metal tins that uh, Drew Estates has made this is my favorite this thing is this is really really my favorite um, <laughs> yeah I'm looking forward to this one more shake I'm not looking go ahead that one what is it, it is, is it me is Karen Hughes Karen Hughes. Karen. Karen, we got your number on here, so we'll give you a call. Uh, Trina, Karen is the winner. That is excellent. Congratulations, Karen. Man, I, I have like six of my name in here. I paid for it, I swear. I did buy packs of cigars. That's not just, I didn't throw them in here. And I lost. Dang it. But that doesn't matter. Because but today, a good way to take advantage of, of this Tuesday deal, you guys, is come in on Tuesday and buy a five pack of the Cigar of the Week. Not only will you get entered to win, uh, for the next Tuesday's raffle, which is right you'll also get one for the Sunday raffle we do for the brand of the week. Uh, so you'll get two tickets instead of one, two raffles, twice a chance to win. That's a good Tuesday right there. I mean, you got that deal for the five pack. You can come in, and if you want a couple of, of singles over there for whatever the brand of the week is, it's 15% off. So you get another good deal on top of that. That's, that's a double win right there. Then you have two chances to win some swag that's right. for the price of one five pack. That's right. Not bad. Not bad at all. But good for Karen. Very proud of you. Yes, congratulations. I'm, uh, I'm going to... Oh, we lost your ticket. Didn't even fight. No, I'm just kidding. It's right here. I pretty much I'll knock it off. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. My bad. Um, but yeah, uh, well, we've already opened it up once. So let's keep it close. Keep it close for her. Yeah, we'll keep it close for her. Uh, have, have a good one. one. Where were we? Tight draw on... Where were we? But still good. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a good question to bring up real quick. When is it too tight of a draw for you guys to smell? Like, how many times are you going to poke it? Because a lot of us will, you know, maybe work out a little bit. You do the little rotation, give it a pinch. How, yeah, how many times are you going to work on it before you just decide, this cigar is just not for me? The construction's too tight. I can't smoke it. You know, for me, it really depends on the cigar. Uh, if it's a cigar that I, I it's not like one of my <laughs> favorites, I'll come on it rather quickly. Uh, if it's something like, the Bloodline Maduro, where half of the ones that I smoke have burn issues. Yeah. yeah. Um, I will still work on it because I love the flavors of that cigar. It's a great tasting cigar, so I will work a bit harder on something like that where I know I enjoy it, and I just have to work at it a bit more. I think, in my experience, yeah, the, the Bloodline definitely gives me those problems, too. It's that half and half. Some of them burn perfectly fine. The other half has some really weird burn issues, but the flavor is so dang good. I don't even care. I'm going to keep retouching that one, no problem. Um, but Cuban cigars are the ones that give me the worst trouble as far as too tight. I've had at least three of them that have been so tight, I gave up after a while. I, I poked it, you know, cut it again where I felt a, a knot, try to relight it, but it just, there's no way to save it sometimes. And I, I can't tell you how sad I am about that because I don't really buy Cubans. It's either through the Cuban taster that we get um, with Culebras, or it's usually a, a gift of some sort. So I want to smoke that thing all the way through. Right. Because there's some great Cubans out there. It's just the construction factor has always been a big issue, especially with rush production, with the crops not being allowed to kind of replenish themselves uh, with proper crop rotation. Um, and, and, you know, making people hit these certain quotas 
uh, when the government kind of steps in on those things. It's it's a product that you shouldn't have to worry about those kind of issues because it's a handmade product. It is a lot of hard work that goes into them. And that's just a level of what sort I'm looking for. I'm losing I'm losing the word on it, but it's a level of problems that you shouldn't have to add on to the problems that already could happen. Right. And that, that one always messes with me because I've only had like maybe 12 to 15 Cuban cigars. Mm-hmm. I really, I just don't go after them very often. There's a bunch in here that I'd rather have anyway. Yeah. Uh, right next to me in the big humidor, right behind me, in fact. I mean, you got the, the Opus right above my head. Dab it off right over there. Yeah. So around that same there. price point, you get that Cuban four. I'd probably rather get one of these guys yeah. uh, here in town. And uh, I don't know if he's watching now, but thank you, Carlito, for checking in this morning. Um, he's been doing that a lot more often. So yeah, I really feel, appreciate that. Feel, feel special now. Uh, and Timothy says that uh, he would be lighting up a rush but he has a parent-teacher conference right now. Parent-teacher conference? Well, you know what? Makes sense. And Hack says a rush is uh, smoke tasting great. Can you talk to the owners uh, uh, and tell us the blend? I can. I believe. Uh, I do. I know them. They're pretty good people. One of them is anyways. Yeah, one of them. The other one's that guy. So. Of course. Uh, it is an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper over a, a Cubano, a Piloto Cubano binder with some more um, Connecticut filler along with some broadleaf and a little bit of Nicaraguan filler. The broadleaf in there is to kind of step up that flavor and that strength because um, there's a lot of Connecticut's out there that are just too light for my taste. Mm-hmm. And when we, we have that option to kind of step it up with a little bit of broadleaf, I think it really did the trick right there. And I... I smoked that one way too often um, because we gotta we gotta sell them, uh, and I kind of hid them for myself. Even Frankie's those are my pile now. You don't get a hold of them, and I I can smoke that all day long. It's it's not too strong, it's not too peppery, it's just the right amount for me. And I, I drink a lot of coffee already. You guys know that. Um, I was just being lazy, which why I grabbed a, a can of energy drink this time, or else I'd be drinking coffee and smoking that cigar all day long. Now, Brian said he ages his Cubans for 10 years, and then they they, they piss bomb. Uh, oh, the thing is, I haven't been smoking for 10 years yet, so I have, would not have, be able to have a cigar that's aged that long. Uh, my longest age cigar currently is uh, a little over a year and a half, and that's a box that I got for my birthday last year uh, from Mitch. Uh, not 100% sure we have that Sumatra from 2017's um, IPCPR. I believe it was... Uh, the Kubo Sumatra, Kubo Sumatra, uh, from Dapper, with the uh, pre-release band on there, and we were supposed to do a review on that, but then he also had some that didn't have the pre-release band. He's like, oh, hold on to these two as well, so he used that instead. Right. And I am, I'm never smoking that one. That's, I, I love Ian and, and Dapper cigars. It's an awesome company, mm-hmm. so I'm saving that one um, for as long as I possibly can. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jeff is smoking the uh, 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 Room One Hundred One Farce. A good cigar from uh, Room 101, and then uh, Tony says the the coffee and rum cigar uh, was uh, was nice to try. I think we got more in. I'll double check with Trina, but he's talking about the Casa Lobo cigars. Uh, they have it to, in the coffee rum. Uh, they have it in the tequila, and I want to say whiskey. Casa Lobo, whiskey, coffee, rum, and tequila. Yeah, yeah. Do we have more of the coffee rum. So yeah, we have more in that. I know last time we was looking for them. Cognac. 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 Yeah. There we there go. We so, go. Not, a not a whiskey one. There we okay. go. My mistake. I, I, no, no, no. Uh, excuse me. Gurkha has the whiskey and a rum one and a cognac. There's three that come in these glass tubes. They look very nice. A little pricey for my opinion on a, on a flavored cigar. But there's quite a few flavored cigars out there that are, are got a good hefty price point that people really love. So if you like it, definitely smoke it. It, it might, I like the Casa Lobos just as much yeah. as I like those Gurkhas. It's just um, flavored is going to be once a month for me if, if I smoke them at all. Mm. Uh, it's not very often, but there are plenty that are great out there to recommend. No, macchi- no, none of this macchiato from... No- oh, no, spend all your money on for Stuggy Fest and macchiatos? Just a whole bunch of sour milk flavor. I would love that. I'm going to get mad at Manny about that if I ever have to smoke one again. Mm-mm. What if they revamp it for you? They already tried that. They have a different name. It's the Double Espresso now. If you guys don't know, uh, Nub changed the uh, their flavored line, their coffee line, to the single roast, the double roast, and the triple roasts. Or is it double or single, double, and triple espressos? I think it's roast. Roast. I think you're right. I think it's roast. 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 Okay. 
Um, either way, don't I don't care for the the double roast. That's the I one. I love it. Nope, nope. Triple roast is good. That is their their darkest one. It is a lot of flavor to it. Um, and still a nice long burn with those nubs you get. All of them, all of them burn very well, and they give you that good hour and a half. Almost every time. I get a little over an hour usually, but I smoke them a little bit faster. Um, I did do the uh, Cameroon wrapped one uh, a couple of days ago, and uh, I actually got a really nice uh, ash on it. Did my nub stand. Uh, that was a recommendation from uh, Brad over at Seal Cigar, so that was a good call. That, yeah, that's a great Sumatra. It's, a, it's an excellent choice. In fact, not, not speaking on that one in particular, but going back to McAuliffe, there's a Sumatra staring me right in the face from their bold one. And it is, it's a Sumatra with a little bit more strength than usual, uh, than a usual Sumatra. You're going to go about medium to medium full almost the entire time. And I really like that. I think it's a good Sumatra to, to try out. If you guys haven't had it yet, it is in those single packs too. So just try one for right now if you want to you wanna try it out. I just had it on Sunday. That is right. And uh, you have a lot of Sumatras lately. Mm-hmm. What's going on? What's, what's happening? I think it's a good wrapper. I really enjoy it. Yep. Can't argue with that. Can't argue the one bit. Uh, the alcohol glass, dang it, it's common, but I'm going to go with this one. Uh, putting in for uh, Kitchen Pass for the 20th, very nice. I hope, I hope you can come, brother. Good choice to make this not our dad's Connecticut. Yeah, exactly, yeah. We wanted to kind of just ramp it up just a little bit. Don't get me wrong. Uh, there's good Monte Cristos out there that I really like, and uh, the 1875 is nice once in a while. Just want something a little bit more in that strength factor. It's not too light, and... Um, not something that's going to turn off uh, a new smoker or someone who might not care for some unbelievably heavy. Even, I would say, I know it's, it's going to be heavier. The Noir is definitely heavier, guys. But I still don't think if uh, if you don't care for something super strong, this one won't hurt you either. The flavors are going to be there to kind of offset the, uh, the strength. Correct, correct. Um, but back to the Riata. Riata is still smoking really well. Um, Ash is coming off a nice solid chunk. I am actually just because I don't want to drop it on myself on camera. Uh, but it is smoking really well. I think the after actually, like I just did. Wow. How did you I did just that? hit my own finger with it. That was fantastic. Terrible plan. Um, this guy. It's smoking really well. It's tasting great. It's not really transitioning from third to third as I'm getting into the second third year, but it's continuing with that same flavor profile all the way throughout so far, which I don't mind. You know, if you have a nice uh, flavor going, some good notes going on, and you try one, just enjoy the entire way through, I think it's a good, uh, good stick for that. Oh, I'm, I get that, yeah. Sometimes if it starts really great and it ends the same way, why not? Yeah. I like that just as much as if it transitions throughout. It's nice to get those complex notes that transition throughout the entire thing. But I don't always get these huge different flavor profiles everyone speaks of. Like when you read some of the reviews out there, oh, it tastes like this mossy hill from Scotland that has these great saltine flavors. I'm like, okay, all right. I would love it to taste like a cigar though too. That would be good. Um, at the end of the day, as long as you're enjoying it, that's all that matters. Mm-hmm. Call it whatever flavor you want to call it. Call it black licorice. Call it a spicy chicken from Jack in the Box. I don't care. As long as you enjoy the flavors. Uh, the alcohol glass uh, tube uh, cigars, I found that getting them out of the tube uh, for 20 or 30 uh, before light. Uh, before Makes light. much better. Okay. Taste and burn better. So you give them that little bit of a time out of the tube to kind of maybe dry out a bit oh uh, okay now i get it okay i was i was reading it wrong yeah, yeah. yeah let yeah let it get a little time to acclimate which, which i have noticed a lot with the uh the casa lobos actually when, when when i do buy one of those i'll actually leave it out overnight because sometimes when we get them they're a little wet uh and you know it's just really really hard to, to, to get it to burn right when the tobacco's still wet uh so giving it that time to uh to, to dry a bit uh, is always a good idea when you get those. But still holds on to their, their infused flavor. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, they're absolutely, they're very nice. And the first one I had, I didn't do what he just said, which is a good plan. I actually agree with that quite a bit. Um, and it burnt a little funny, but the flavor was still really good. Um, gosh, yeah, that was a good event. When the Casa Lobo came through, they were rolling right where we were sitting. Mm-hmm. And it was a lot of fun. They were rolling fresh cigars with a little honey tip um, just for those who wanted to try that out. Yeah, it was, it was really good stuff. Yeah, Night no, Castle was it's a good company. I really like those guys. 100%. I really, uh, I got to agree with Doug here too, though. Um, I could be in the room with an acid, and I've tried so many different ones from the lineup. Just acid's not for me. Um, what? What, Nick? I, I got to yeah. say. I, I, He's judging me. I can tell. 
So I also don't really care for acid cigars personally. I know a lot of people love them, and that's great. I think that's exactly what they're yeah. for. Is that those people that like them? The one time what I do you, really what smoke do you mean an acid, those people. Wow. What do you mean, those people? Wow. Uh, really, Frank? The, the one time I will smoke an acid is at events. Uh, when we're doing selling events, yeah. uh, like Wings and Wheels, um, whoever didn't smoke it last time has to smoke one that time. Yep. We well, alternate events uh, because that smell brings people into the tent. Uh, you know, they'll smell like, oh, what is that? And then you explain to them what it is. You know, seven times out of ten. Those people, those people, those people. Seven times out of ten, those people will buy acid. <laughs> oh. uh, other times, you can talk to, talk to them, show them other cigars, and they'll buy something else. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're get trouble for those but, those you know, if, if you're one of those people, you know that, that's perfectly fine. That's what cigars are for. Pick those uh, up at the love station. Too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the press pack. Yeah. 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 Looks like it should be for a kid snack when you rip off the top. Yeah, man. You know, but you're right there. We'll see. Yeah. Have a good one. Yeah, there goes one of those in. people right there. Just left. He loves them. Actually, if it wasn't for uh, for Nick right there, we wouldn't have got through the the waif. Um, those three it came in the uh, the blue, yellow, and red bands. I, the names escape me, but that's the size of them. Uh, is the waif? Yeah, and they're very small. It's like a twenty to thirty minute burn yeah. at the most, and. Um, I had the yellow one, which cannot remember, but it was very, um, it's very herbally, which they, they all have a tendency to be kind of that way to me. And I like, I like the smell for the most part. It's that doesn't bother me. It's just the flavors themselves kind of mess with my mouth after a while. Even if I'm drinking something heavier, like a coffee, like black coffee, a double espresso by itself, nothing added to it, I still can't get the taste of the acid out of my mouth. And if, if you like that, that's great. But yeah. it's just, it's just not for me. Yeah, it's not the same. The, the same way, you know, I talk about the Serbian Millennial a lot. There's some people out there that just don't like it. And that's fine if you're those people. But that is a those people situation. If you don't like the Serbian Millennial, that blows my mind. It's a great cigar. And uh, Matt's saying that the Monte Cristo White Series is go to light cigar. That's one of the ones I recommend, as well as the Rock of the 99, which is, uh, um, oh, dang, I want to say the seven year uh, for them. Uh, yeah, yeah, seven year. Uh, as well as the uh, Camacho Connecticut, which I actually really enjoy. I'm actually impressed that you remember the numbers for that. I get confused on that. Yeah, it's I'll do the yeah. 92, the 99. I'll, I'll say those numbers, but then mixing it with uh, like the 70, like you're saying. Yeah, yeah, they have the vintage, and then the, how long they age it for. It's like uh, that's too many numbers. A lot of numbers, I don't remember. But they're good stuff. Yeah, they, they are. I uh, I know Rocky Patel has a lot in their portfolio, and it's like, oh man, there's just so many out there. But quite a few of them I do enjoy. I think the fact that there's just so many there, I don't smoke it as often. So I'll, I'll go with the, the number six, so the numero six for a while, or over to the ALR. And then the 92, just because it's my birth year, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'll smoke that one pretty pretty often. Um, but yeah, it's it's a big collection of cigars throughout that, so it's good stuff. And then BK Dance, any difference between an acrylic humidor versus cedar storage on the burn on the burning times? Also, missed uh, the offers earlier. No, we'll go over that in just a second, but we'll start with the question first. As far as burn time of the cigar itself, if that's what you're uh, referring to, I don't think there's any difference between storing in an acrylic to a storing in something that's cedar lined. You can always put cedar spills in your acrylic jar, and it kind of helps keep the humidity in there at a steady um, a steady level because the cedar itself will absorb humidity. Uh, but really, I don't think you need that if you have bovitas in there. Yeah, I, 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 do a I good think job. that the acrylic jars uh, or acrylic humidors are, are a nice... Um, way to store your cigars um i don't think it's going to affect how they smoke because they're both supposed to keep them at a constant you're supposed to keep it at a constant temperature and then also at a constant humidity so as long as you do those both both of those things they should be um the same no matter what uh, i yeah, don't I like think on the bottom, yeah i don't think one is going to be better or worse than the other um so it's going to be preference uh, uh, if you can see that let me show that on put it all over Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. There we go, that's better. There's a bit of cedar already there at the bottom of these, and it comes with, uh, it's not going to work with me here. It comes with a little uh, hydrometer right there at the bottom. Oh, no, excuse me, a, uh, a humidity pack right there, so you can put a little distilled water in there. Um, that's but, the one thing I wouldn't recommend doing. I don't care for that. Any humidor that comes with that uh, floral foam stuff, I would not use that. Um, if you could take it out and just put it to the side, I would do that. If it's in there and it's like stuck on there permanent, leave it, don't fill it with water. 
get a bovita pad, get the beads, um, you know, get some water pillows, whatever. I like the beads. Uh, I like just, those. Uh, I, I really would not recommend using that stuff, you know. Uh, you get it too wet and it can start to, to mold and that's really bad for your cigar. So uh, it's it's a nice addition to that. That's it. They, they, just, they yeah. don't do what they're supposed to do very well. I'm sure if you, if you know how to make them work properly out there, keep going with it. But yeah. I think you have a lot less likely of a chance to build up any kind of mold or a funky smell just in your yeah. humidor with the water pillows, yeah. the bovitas. Or with the uh, the the water beads, I, I, I would like for those. I would like to see more companies start moving away from that stuff and start putting in those wooden uh, sleeves where you can slip a bovita right inside, um, and they'll know you know okay well our, uh, our humidor is this big you hold that many cigars you'll need this many bovitas so maybe put a sleeve on the top and a sleeve at the bottom so you can slip in a couple, you know I'd I'd like to see that more. Not a bad call, I think um, for room's sake I think the. Uh, you know, I know you have them, but I'm saying I'd like to see more companies stop putting those in where, you know, it has that, like, little wooden outline where that's the only thing that can fit there. Instead of that, put in that little thing so you can put your own bovitas in. I think that would be a lot nicer. I'm with Jeff on this, too. Any any cigar with the name Acid in it is just a little, little different. Um, and funny enough, uh, make sure you guys sign up for that petition about Flavor Band here in California um, or else Acid cigars will be illegal as Acid itself. And I don't think those two should be in the same category. I'm just saying. But um, it is what it is. Hopefully we get it on the ballot for mm -hmm. next time. Not, it won't be. It'll be a year, right? Yeah. We'll have a year before we have to vote on it. But we've got to get it onto that first. And I know a lot of you guys are already writing in or getting the, uh, the signature on those uh, petitions. But let's keep it going. Um, just because maybe you don't smoke flavors, I don't think we should take it away from somebody else. Um, when I hit my cigar, I crack the side. No. How did you do that? I was switching hands and I wasn't paying attention and I went to, to grab my phone and I smacked it. Yeah, that was funny. Terrible. Uh, did either of you smoke the Monte Cristo 2000? No, that's for him. I was letting him smoke it. Still have it in the, what do you call it? Yep. It's in my travel case where I keep my personal stuff. Um, I've had a transition keeping my pers personal, personal stuff from my large American flag humidor uh, to my travel case uh, where I keep hidden because if I don't, uh, somebody will, will, will stick their greedy little hands into it and take them uh, as they had and, and then hand them out to people like they did with my Opus X, uh, like they did with my semi Trompetas. Uh, so we have these people and some people. And those people. And I will, I'm going to say this right now. He didn't hide it very well. Terrible. Uh, <laughs> keep your shitty cigars on top. <laughs> yeah. Oh, before I forget, Joseph, um, this week's cigar brand of the week is the McAuliffe, which we are smoking right now. Frank is having the Riata, yeah? Yep. And I'm having the A uh, for Ambassador. Uh, there is the three and the five packs. The three pack is going to be a mix of their Coraline stuff. Uh, we have a few different ones, so you can kind of rifle through them and see if there's one that you like. If not, we can always make you one up uh, in the shop. You'll also get 15% off any individual stick. And if you want the five pack, we have the five packs, and they have one of each of their bold lines. And I want to make sure I got them right. So the, the Lajero, Sumatra, Montefino, Maduro, and Nicaragua. Uh, so there's one of each of them in there. The sizes will vary uh, a little bit between pack to pack. So there should be a pack in there that has some that you like. And if you get a five pack or a three pack uh, any day of the week, you'll get entered in a chance to win our Sunday raffle, uh, which will announce the next cigar brand of the week. But if you buy one on Tuesday, you also get a chance to win our Tuesday raffle. Uh, this past one was won by, who was it, Karen? Yes, Karen. If you're watching, Karen Hughes. Good job. Excellent. So she won uh, this. Uh, Liga 9, the survival kit has a backpack, the folding knife, and the uh, flashlight. I'll give you that, and I'll give you that. That is for the weekly. Okay. Uh, and so for uh, this week's, um, wait, for the McAuliffe or for the Tuesday? Okay. Uh, we have this nice Rock Mattel lighter here. The copper one? The, the brushed copper looking one. Oh. That'll be this Sunday's winner right there. So whoever wins Sunday will win that. Grab a pack of McAuliffe uh, because that thing's awesome. I love this. Feels good in the hand. It's a triple torch. Let's see if I can show that off, guys. There you go. Very nice. That, that's awesome. That's a nice lighter. Got a good weight to it. I like that a lot. Uh, Jim is full of knowledge. He 
you should be on. I've been on your show. Yeah. He yeah. also, also wears cool shirts. We've had Hack on before. We've got to have him on again, I think, pretty dang soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Stogie Fest for sure. Yeah, yeah, whole, yeah we'll be going live for Stogie Fest. Absolutely. Oh, excuse me. Something like that. Absolutely, we'll be live. And um, as, as often as we can. It's going to be a very busy event for us. Uh, try to help out Mike as much as he can as far as the MC goes. Here's a good one uh, from uh, from Todd. Todd, how you doing? Thank you for joining us. Hey. Have you tried the Tabernacle Goliath? Yes, I tried it the second I saw it was in the shop. We have both the David and the Goliath in. Uh, we got those in with the High Clear Castle, the original, and the Victorian, uh, all here from Foundation. And I loved the Goliath. I thought it was a fun shape. I thought it smoked really well. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to try the David probably today as well. Uh, so I've had them both. But, uh, yeah, we have them both available here at the shop. And I, I, I thought it was a great cigar. Uh, I've noticed he said it was full. For me, it was more of a medium. Um, I don't know why for me a lot of cigars that people say are more full or more medium for me on my palate. For me, the fullest cigars I've ever had were um, like the Jacob's Ladder Brimstone. Definitely, definitely um, number one right there. That was a, a really full cigar for me. Uh, so that's kind of the, the strength level where I where I gauge everything from. So, Yeah, if it's anywhere near that, it's very full. That one is unbelievably strong. I, I turned very pale after finishing that cigar and worth it. 100% worth it. Great yeah, flavors. It, it tastes great. Yeah. The Presidente size, though, I am a little hesitant to try. Uh, we had it in, what was it, it was a Toro? No, we had it in that, um, I forget, I want to say it's like a Bellocoso, but it's an interesting shape. It's got like a torpedo tip, or like a little bulbous at the bottom with that little nub. A little it's bulbous. That, yeah, it's that interesting shape that they do. Which I really actually like that a lot. Yeah. Um, and then we also had it in, I think it was a torpedo. Um, yeah, yeah. But it's, it, it's a really good cigar. And, and again... The Jacob's Letter Brimstone from Southern Draw. Uh, there was a gentleman that used to come to the shop uh, until he passed away. Uh, Tony, great guy. He's a lawyer. He's a lot of knowledge, that guy. Um, and it was a lot of fun to come in here and talk to him. Because, uh, like I said, he just had a bunch of knowledge. So yeah. uh, he liked strong cigars. He wanted strong cigars. So I would get every cigar that I could think of, maybe like one or two or a month or so, and give him cigars. And go, oh, that's good. That's good. But it wasn't until the Jacob's Letter Brimstone. That he said, hey, I had that cigar. That is the strongest cigar someone has ever handed me. And I felt like I accomplished my mission. Finally, yeah. So that felt really good that I knew I gave him that cigar. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm glad he tried it out, too. Uh, David, how you doing, brother? How's it going? Uh, most uh, of the ones I have picked up were uh, uh, Toro size. Any good Lanceros to pick up? Yeah, we got the Regis oh, in, yeah. in the Lancero. And that thing is very nice. Uh, if you... From Texas, just bought a pack. Oh, right. Awesome. I, I hope we can make it. Yeah. You. And I hope you enjoy those five packs because yes. they are going to be some good stuff. Um, and again, you guys, Stokey Fest, November 20th. Uh, if you guys can, uh, uh, can make it, I would love to have you. I think it'd be a lot of fun. We need to get uh, Mr. Holt on from Southern Draw ASAP to finally finish this debate. On um, the Jacob's Ladder Brimstone, is the band blue or is it purple? It's blue. I'm going blue still. I think it's blue. I think you should just show the thing then. I think so. I think we should get him out there. Um, I'm going to do my best to get him on the show sometime just to finally settle this answer. What was the bet on? What was it? Was it a five pack? Or I don't remember what it was. I think it was just. I don't remember what it was, but I think me and Hack need to uh, put up uh, like a three or five pack, and whoever loses. Uh, donate some cigars and cigars for warriors. Here you go. Oh, also, if they want to bring cigars of their own to the event to donate, please do. Oh, okay, yes. yeah. So, so if you want to clean out some of your stuff, do some new stuff, feel free to bring them in and give them some energy. So Trina's saying if you guys do come to Stogie Fest and you guys do want to bring extra cigars to donate uh, to cigars for warriors, you guys are more than welcome to do that. And we'll have a special raffle for those people that donate. And there'll be a nice. special raffle for those people that do donate. Nice, that's excellent. Um, I think it's the uh, uh, ribbon. Yeah, I think that's the same one I had, David. Yeah, it's a it's a great call. And um, Sinistro came out with their Lancer as well as well in the um, Mr. Red, Mr. Black, and Mr. White. I had the Mr. Red so far. I love that one. Cannot wait to try the other two. We do have some of the Protocol Lanceros as well. We do. Yep. I did not realize. I'm gonna have to smoke some of that too. Mm -hmm. I like Lanceros a lot, guys. That uh, 
that wrapper to binder and filler ratio just it's spot on. You also got the Milano, the original Serie B lens there was really good. Also great. Also uh, the great. Viva La Vida lens here was really great. Phenomenal. Phenomenal, yeah. If I get everything booked, uh, we'll bring some jerk. Yes. That that's even more exciting than cigars right there. That beef jerky was on point. I'm not sharing with anybody. I kind of Yeah. They, they, yep, yep. <coughs> being very stingy with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with all those. No, but with that being said, you guys, we are over our hour. So thank you guys so much for joining us today. Uh, again, don't forget, you guys, all week long, Macau Cigars are on sale. 15% off any individual stick. Uh, you'll get a special deal on a five or a three pack. And if you buy a five or a three pack, you will get entered to win a raffle on Sunday. Any five pack you buy today, you get, what is it, 15% off today? $5 or 15%, I forget. You'll get a deal when you buy a five pack today of any cigars in the shop. But you'll also get entered to win next week's Tuesday raffle, which is that J.C. Newman cutter and ashtray, which is really cool. Don't forget, Stogie Fest is November 20th. Uh, tickets are limited, you guys, because of the uh, uh, social distancing restrictions. So get there as soon as you can. If you don't want us to sell it, you may not be able to join us. Um, sign up for Cigars of America, CigarRights.org. And when you guys can and have the ability to do so, please donate to Cigars for Warriors. It is a fantastic cause, you guys. Um, and they do a lot of great stuff. If you want to come a Facebook supporter for the show, you can hit that little shield. Uh, right next to the comment section uh, on Facebook, which will give you access to uh, special chats and pictures and other stuff that we do. And if you want to become a Facebook supporter or a Patreon member, rather, sorry, you can sign up at our Patreon page. Uh, that will give you the Cigar of the Month as well as other exclusive stuff that only Patreon members will get. So um, any support you guys give us, even just sharing, thank you guys so much for that. And we will catch you guys next time. You all have a good one. <laughs>